Okay, now joining us is Mohan Oda. I'm sorry if I got that name wrong, please help me out. An Arab citizen of Israel. He's an uh, attorney focusing on human rights and international law, and also right now studying conflict resolution at George Mason University. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Sean. Um, I just, first I wanna get your personal take on what you have just looked at what you've digested the past uh, six or seven days, I, I just, I can't imagine putting myself in your shoes. What has it been like? Well, well, well it's, it's very, very sad news coming from both sides, like seeing uh, innocent uh, civilians on both sides being killed, thousands of them uh, being evicted. And now, as, as we are seeing now, that half of uh, Gaza Strip, the most crowded place on the, on earth is is requested to move to nowhere even they like they are requested to move to not, not nobody knows like where to go how to what, what to do after cutting like it's a, there's a full cut of food electricity water for the civilians like uh, and and then i don't know what what israel is expecting to get from from uh, this but it's 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 a very uh, scary news that we're seeing every day very sad news, and uh, we are worried about our families back home, our right. uh, relatives back home. Uh, still, like it's very scary to be not only in, in, in Gaza Strip or around it. Like now, it's very scary to be in the West Bank, inside the East Jerusalem. That it's a very high tense area now for and all aspects. To, to further your point about where do people go, they have the Mediterranean Sea on one side, Egypt, which has closed its border for such a long time, or. Israel. So where are these people going to go? I don't know. This is, I think, that this is the question should uh, be asked to the Israeli military that asked them to evacuate, like where to evacuate, where to go. And if they want them to evacuate, they should give them a, a, at least an option. They doesn't have any option. They are asking them just to move south without even any guarantee that they will not be bombed while they are moving or they will not be bombed even when they are there. Uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, the Israeli government is using using the, the tragedy that happened on Saturday to make other tragedy for the Palestinian people again and again. Yeah. Now you're studying conflict resolution right now, and I can't imagine where that's needed more than in the Middle East. But your take on Hamas launching that assault uh, last Saturday morning and and just the uh, the sheer brutal assault that did take place. How can one rationalize that in in any way? Well, first of all, I think it's the million dollar question, why they did it now? I don't think that we can know now, or like next month, or like in a few years uh, until we will understand why they decided to do it now. What is the reason behind it? You have different uh, uh, opinions. Somebody was like from Hamas was saying that we knew that Israel was uh, preparing an attack against us. So we tried to do this. I don't think this is correct because at least like this is this kind of attack will like needs uh, preparation for for long months if not years uh, what hamas did uh, again it was not uh, something that many trust me many palestinians will not see this as accepted from the other side uh, israel didn't uh, give the palestinians in, in in general any other path except just uh, to to fight against israel uh, uh, nothing is justified killing uh, civilians of course not justified at any uh, level uh, but again, without any political uh, 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 procedure, without any any movement again to towards the two-state solution, I think we will stuck in this uh, circle for years and years uh, again and again. I think that if if you listen to what experts are saying, Hamas, the the military arm of it, had to know that it was going to just receive a brutal response from Israel, and we're seeing that right now, by all indications, Hamas is taken to its network of tunnels underneath the city, and it's urging people uh, within Gaza not to leave the area. Your thoughts moving forward, because the UN basically said it's impossible to move one million it's people. It's impossible. Uh, well, I, I, like, with, with Hamas permission, without Hamas permission to move, uh, to the south, I don't think the people will be really moving because they don't have any place to go. Like it's not about. I don't believe many people are waiting for for the permission. Let's say from from has to move uh, to the south part of Gaza. I think they don't have. If they have an option, they will do it themselves without any any uh, anybody to ask them to move away from from the Gaza Strip in, in general now. But without having any any other option, 
uh, I think uh, with or without uh, what Hamas will tell them, they will try to put themselves in the safest and put their families in the safest place as they can. Uh, I don't think any of us will imagine that they, they anybody will put his family in, in, a, in danger of getting bombed. The problem, again and again, where they will go and uh, who will, uh, uh, will really uh, guarantee that even if they moved uh, to the other areas, they will not be bombed again there. Okay, thank you so much for your insights, and uh, I certainly understand the position you're in, and we certainly do appreciate your time. Thank you.